right so i'm hoping i'm live yes so as you can see from the description of my live video it says your dreams are possible however you need to get out of your own way to make your dreams a reality okay do you know who you are if you do what's stopping you from fulfilling your dreams what's stopping you from um making the desires of your heart the deep desires you have down there in your heart what's stopping you from bringing them into reality so that's what we're going to be discussing today and i thought it would be a nice way to end my work day because i've been busy working most of today and i thought before i end my day i re retire for the evening it would be nice to do this live video just to talk about your dreams what dreams do you have often times people think that their jobs the titles they have is what makes them who they are you know some people feel without a title they are nothing so i'm here to say without your title you really need to know deep down who you are because your title you are not a title you are not the holidays you are able to take in a year that's before this lockdown came up you are not the house you live in some people feel you know the home they live in makes them better than other people and things like that however how do you know who you are before you can live your dream before you can fulfill your dream you need to understand a major thing and that is yourself okay if you don't understand yourself how would you begin to understand what your dreams are what your passions are and all of that so it is very important it is vital for you as an individual to first understand yourself it's like saying you have a relationship with someone but you there's no understanding so in this case you need to have a relationship with yourself you need to understand yourself know who you are okay so what are the things how do you start where do you start from how do you even begin to understand yourself you know if you are on this live video i would like you to leave a comment and tell me what ways if you have achieved this you know tell me what ways how did you go about it how did you begin to start on that journey of understanding yourself or do you just wake up every day and live on autopilot you do the same things every day before now you just carried on with the hustle and bustle of life you wake up go to work come back eat dinner go to bed and you repeat the same thing again the next day is that what life is about so my purpose my passion really is to help women especially i work with women mostly you know i'm an empowerment coach i help you understand your god-given identity because without understanding your god-given identity it's almost impossible to fulfill your dreams you see it's, it's it becomes difficult so how do you begin to um have a, a good relationship with yourself i'm sure some of you say relationship with myself yes that is important you must understand yourself you must have an awesome relationship with yourself before you can even start to have a great relationship with other people because if you don't know what makes you happy how can you come together with somebody else and find happiness it means you are going to put the burden of you being happy on someone else which is so unfair so to know yourself one thing you must do is to make sure you understand what makes you happy what makes you happy what is it that makes you wake up with a leap on your steps every single day what makes you tick that's the first thing you must discover what makes you happy what makes you look forward to each day when you wake up you're like wow it's a beautiful day i'm happy you know what makes you set those goals you need to take a journal and begin to no take a note of 
what makes you happy why are you happy what makes your heart beat you know not with the presence of someone else you on your own you need to discover what makes you happy why why am i happy on the road to fulfilling your dreams fulfilling your dream um, is like someone going on a journey it's like going on a journey and on this journey we are all on different um stages of this journey some are ahead some are in the middle and some are still coming behind so on your journey you need to understand where you are on your journey so on this journey to fulfilling your dreams what makes you happy as you are working on this road to fulfilling your dreams what do you see along the way who do you meet things like that who do you meet who helps you and you need to know what doesn't help you as well all right so as you make your journey start making a note in your journal of what makes you happy all right happiness helps you express who you are okay you are able to express yourself better because you know who you are so i'd like us to start doing that start making notes of this and also once you're happy you'd have less conflict within you you are not like oh unsure you don't live life like somebody who is just being blown along the way by the wind or by people's opinion and things like that you live life with confidence you know who you are you know what you're doing you don't have constant inner conflict you know, this conflict within you all the time of being unsure being uncertain and all of that if you are uncertain on a daily basis how will you fulfill your dreams it's going to be very tough you know it's going to be a very tough one it's going to be impossible really to fulfill your dreams to even begin to understand where to start from you, you begin to wonder you know today you are here tomorrow you are there somebody says oh there's this network marketing business oh you are there oh there's something else tomorrow oh you are there you are everywhere you know being unsure because you have this inner conflict you're not sure but when you become confident and you become certain of what you are doing you will not have that resistance within you the inner conflict would cease to stop because you are now confident and you now know what you're doing you see so the first thing know what makes you happy the second thing know what gives you less resistance you know that um, doesn't give you inner conflict and the third thing you need to know on the way to fulfilling your dreams it enables you you're also able to make better decisions okay once you become happy you don't have that inner conflict you make better decisions because you are not um, uncertain anymore you, you, you're now certain of what you want to do you know what you want to do you now put in goals um, long-term goals mid-term goals short-term goals you now put goals in place and you you begin to take steps towards achieving them you now know what you need to do because you know yourself better you know what you like and you know what you do not like and things like that and this gives you the fourth thing which is self-control okay you know what motivates you and you know what doesn't motivate you so when you are motivated you're able to control yourself you have self-control and you don't um try to be like other people you don't copy other people you're authentic authentic you know yourself you know what you should be doing you know you're able to control yourself better and you're not blown here there and the order by people by um society by culture by religion okay religion is different from relationship with god okay so let's make that distinction there you're not blown by e society or what would people say if i do this what would they say or if i don't do this 
what's going to happen? You become certain, you become confident, and this gives you better results. You are able to make proper decisions. You are able to take time out, reflect, make those de- de- uh, make those de- make those decisions. Pardon me, and then which gives you a better vision. You are able to visualize where you want to go. You are able to have better goals, and your dreams don't seem so far away anymore because you are writing things down. You know what makes you happy. You know what you are meant to be doing. You know what you are on earth for. You're not here to sleep, eat, wake up, repeat the same thing again the next day. So this makes you have a lot of vitality. You have pleasure. You you do things confidently and all of that. So I thought it would be nice to come here and share these few tips with us today for those of us who are still unsure, not sure what to do, not sure what they are here for and just on autopilot. Now, the second thing you need to do, once you know who you are, these are just some tips, just a few tips. There are so many things, a whole lot more we need to do on the way to discovering who we are, our our um, identity, you know, who God has called us to be, what our talents are, what our passions are. There are so many things to do to discover them. Okay. Now, the second thing we must do is to get out of our heads. Those limitations, you know, those um, negative thoughts, those things that tell you, you cannot, I can't, I can't do this because, or I can't do that because maybe I'm a woman. Some say, oh, I'm a woman in my culture. Women are not meant to, to do this or in my in the society. This is frowned upon. Put yourself in a box. So I'm saying you need to get out of your heads. Remove those limiting beliefs. All right. They are called limiting beliefs and they will, they, they will limit you. Definitely limit you every time in everything you do. Okay. I put out a post yesterday about being um, at one point in my life extremely shy and all of that and I would rather just sit down and observe others I was very good and I still am good at observing and making a lot of things and absorbing things and just taking things in and all of that and I had a passion growing up that was to become a newscaster (laughs) you know However, while I was in university, I I think in my second year, I decided, no, I wasn't going to become a newscaster anymore because in my third year, we were meant to choose our area of specialty and, you know, what you wanted to major in and all of that. And you could either do, because I studied mass communication as my first degree, so you could either do, you could either major in um, print broadcasting and the third one was public relations and advertising when i went to university my initial plan was to major in broadcasting because i wanted to be a newscaster you know read news and all of that on tv however i developed a stutter so i thought there's no way i'm going to be reading the news with a starter, so I changed direction and decided to do um, public relations and advertising, which I majored in in my first degree. And I quite enjoyed it because I learned a lot and I packed, I just said, no, nope, no more broadcasting for me. And I forgot all about it. And that was a limitation, but I didn't know at the time I just thought my nature, it's not in my nature to be a broadcaster. So I left that, you know, and then here I am. Now I do YouTube. I broadcast my own message. I have my own podcast. I'm a podcast host and I do my Facebook lives and all of that. And the other day I was thinking and I, and I told myself, wow, life has just gone you know, it has gone round and taken me back to where I started originally, you know, where I wanted to be a newscaster. 
and I thought that was the end of it. I couldn't be a newscaster anymore. And here I am now broadcasting my own message, how life works, right? And I'm like, wow. So I could have majored in broadcasting then, but I thought, I can't do that. I have a stutter. <laughs> but that's not me. That was just a limiting belief. So my point in saying that story is this, whatever you think is holding you back, whatever your limitation is, it's just in the mind, there is nothing you cannot learn. There is nothing you cannot achieve. There's nothing you cannot do once those limiting beliefs, those limitations are taken out. Yes. So have I been cured of this stutter? No. Once in a while, it still happens. You know, once in a while, I still jumble up my words and things. But hey, that's me. I'm not letting that stop me. I'm not letting that prevent me from doing what I love to do. I love to create. I love to talk. I, like, I love to express myself and things like that. So I know who I am. I know who I've been created to be. My mission in life is to help other people get out of their heads, get over limitations and achieve what they've been created to do in life and start this journey. If they haven't started already, start the journey of living and fulfilling their dreams. That's my purpose in life. So I help specifically women achieve this and to get in touch with me i have a website it is gloriousglowempowerment.com and if you are watching on my facebook page is glorious glow empowerment coach and my podcast is glorious glow empowerment podcasts and um, yeah my youtube channel is glorious glow empowerment so what I do is I cover topics to help empower women in various areas of their lives. So to work with me one-to-one, -one, I have that available if you would like to work with me one-to-one. -one. At this time, there's um, a lot of people being stressed out because of what's happening, the lockdown and, and things like that. So I have um, something I'm going to post here. I have shared a free one before i think last week i shared a free kind of um, christian my meditation and i'm going to attach something in the link here if you would like to have some kind of meditation to calm you down to take your mind away from this stressful situation i'll drop the link in the description box you can have access to it and listen to it and just relax and ask god to help you so what i do is i studied psychology in the uk so i use some strategies you know psychological strategies to help women and i also put in christian principles and values to help you become who god has created you to be because it would be a shame really to leave this world without fulfilling your purpose some of you may be familiar with the story of the um, talents that story gets me all the time the story of the talents where some were given one talent, two talents, five talents, and one of them hid his talent and he never did anything with it. Guess what? We are all going to give account one day. What would you say you did with your talents? It has to be multiplied. If you don't know how to um, say fulfill one of your passions, which may be what what passions do you have <laughs> singing you want to sing you can't sing you can go to singing lessons yeah make your talent even better and then nothing can stop you you can pay for some singing lessons you want to be what a dancer learn how to dance go to dance school watch videos talk to other people join groups Nothing should stop you from fulfilling your dreams. Nothing really. So whatever you want to achieve, all you have to do is put your mind to it and you can do it. So that's where I'll be ending my video today, my message today. And I hope um, it has impacted you in one way or the other. And I hope 
you found it helpful or useful. So to get in touch with me, you can contact me on my Facebook page or any of those um, websites I mentioned earlier. Whatever you do, take care. God bless. Bye.